Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color, and this is the reading, uh, the January reading for the collective. I know I'm quite late. I've had a lot in front of me. So here I am getting to it finally. I know I did not do a yearly reading for everyone, but I did do them by sign. Those are all uh, available. If you go to playlists and you put in your sign or your rising sign or whatever, or your friend sign, then you can see those. <clears throat> Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality, which can help you to move energy. I have very beautiful things available on my website, ripecolor.com. I hand make and hand paint uh, scarves and t-shirts, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I do daily readings with Nancy Jean. I do uh, monthly readings. Here we are. Yearly readings, all available on the site, on the channel. I also do, um, I also, uh, yeah, do uh, <laughs> weekly readings. Weekly readings are available for members, uh, $2.99 a month to become a member. The weekly readings are more involved and um, they are commercial free. Maybe that's the bell that you needed to hear. It's like, oh, commercial free, commercial free. Okay. The sun is setting, and it's really very dramatic right now. And it's 4.30 in the afternoon. All right. I just did all the 12 signs. They'll all be up very soon. It takes a while to upload. And, you know, with the very strange times, so, uh, you know, I seems like everything's moving in slow motion. So let's see what the cards have to say. Let's do one more shuffle, and then I'm going to get, finally get to the reading. All right, for the collective for January 2022. Well, that's good. We begin with an illumination and a, and a clear path. That's wonderful, yay. And something new, something fresh. It's also illuminated. I always feel like the, the pentacles are like little mini suns. So there's like, oh, there's this clarity coming. I don't think you're gonna pick up the old stuff. I don't think you're gonna pick up the old stuff. It's almost like you're just gonna pick up the new stuff. I don't think you're gonna pick up the new stuff, the old stuff. Um, like the easy way. I don't think you're going after the easy way. It's very interesting. Um, the spiritual quest. You know, I think you're going after something new, something unfamiliar, something uh, you dream of, something um, that you feel will satisfy you. But I don't think the old stuff is going to um, satisfy you anymore. Time stands still. You know, this is this is about being overwhelmed, right? This is about being overwhelmed. And it's like, I've had just about enough. I've had just about enough. And I always feel with this card that there's this energy of uh, time, of everything moving in slow motion. Everything moving in slow motion. Because he's at this point in the battle where he's got a little break. And it's like, okay, this is what I'm surrounded with. And now I have to make a decision. But it's almost like he see things in slow motion. So he's almost able to see certain details that he hadn't seen before. It's almost like a, um, a reflective, there's a reflective quality today on that card. <clears throat> there's a gift coming. Um, and an opportunity coming, am I going to be able to see it or am I going to be overwhelmed? Hmm. I think you will be able to see it. Because this one, he looks really carefully. It's almost like a microscope. There's an energy of microscope at this one. It's like he's looking really carefully at his security, at his money, at what's important, where is it going? You know, there's this, there's this definite sense of... Um, looking at the details and looking at the details in a way you hadn't before. It's almost as if um, 
this is the way it feels. It feels like you're a professor in, I don't know, history, let's say. And then you just got an anthropology degree or you understand the anthropological energy of it. And so you're looking at it with, a, with um, like an added bonus or something. And it's like, oh, you know, it's like a different perspective. You have everything you need, you know, I think You know, maybe the perspective is I have everything I need, you know, maybe the perspective is, you know, I don't really need to struggle as much. The sunset is so magnificent. I took a, a photo for Instagram, but it just didn't capture what it was supposed to catch. It's like orange on the buildings. It's like amazing. This is the card of joy. This is the card of joy. And I think this is really about being satisfied with one's lot. I think this is about, um, having a sense of, uh, I have enough. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to read the numbers. Look, this is where we're all at. You know, out of things falling apart, you know, there, there's always gifts there. So, I, you know, I had a, tr a trip to go to um, that I canceled. I was supposed to go to Mexico on January 12th. And, you know, part of me is like, oh, because of, you know, uh, the Omicron, and, you know, I know people have had it and getting it, blah, 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 blah. Maybe there's something here for me in New York that I'm supposed to experience. You know, maybe there's something here for me in New York that I'm supposed to experience, be here for, um, like this moment, like the, the universe is very efficient. There's a certain efficiency to this card. It, it knocks out for us what we can't knock out for ourselves. So, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, now I know it's really important. Now I know it's really important. So, you know, expect the unexpected. I've been saying this for two years, but I, I feel like if the volume was on 10 and the volume only goes up to 10, we're at 12, we're at 12. And it's like, well, I got to learn how to roll with the punches. I have to, you know, get through my obstacles just like I did in the past few days. Like, uh, this was supposed to happen. It didn't happen. The thing wasn't on time. The money didn't come. Oh, it's like, work your way through it. You know, it's like, we all got to work our way through it. Uh, like, you know. Don't take on stuff that's not your stuff. So this is really important. So if you are uh, teetering on the edge of, oh my God, I think I'm really going to lose my mind. Don't tune into stuff that's going to take you over the edge. You know, I started watching something. Uh, I don't know where. And I was like, this is so negative. I don't even want to know the outcome. Like, I, this is so like, I like I need to feel, I have to, do I want to fill my, my vases with weeds or do I want to fill them with flowers? Or, yeah. There's going to be a lot of heartache. So you have to really maintain your own equilibrium. You don't have to take on other stuff because there's still opportunities out there. Um, and sometimes you have to train your eye toward where is the opportunity? Where is the joy? And I know it's I, it, it's more difficult than ever. I get it. Believe me. Yeah. Yeah. Invite spirit in. I always feel like this card is like invite spirit in, right? Be to yourself. Meditate. Contemplate. Invite spirit in. Um, A lot of the physical things in our physical world right now are very unsure, very unstable, very mutable, very who knows. So uh, we have to find uh, our own sense of strengths in ourselves, you know, in new ideas, in brainstorms, balance, balance. Spirit's overlooking us. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right, don't worry. 
you, you can go to that deep place of worry. That ain't going to help you. But, you know, don't expect anything stable to be stable. Because it's just it's the way it is right now. So what is stable? My sense of myself, uh, my, my, my relationships with others, that's uh, spirit, that's stable. This other stuff, it's all mutable. It's all like, it's like we're living on a planet made of jello. So get some whipped cream, we'll have a party. I haven't had jello and I, I, I don't even know when the last time I had jello. 10 years ago, 15 years ago. I don't know. Jello sounds kind of fun. Right? You know how kids are? You know how kids like make anything out of nothing? And they could like find joy in anything and you know, manage, always manage. It's like, well, you know. There's nothing to play with, so I'll play with the dirt. There's nothing to play with, so uh, we'll make believe that we're these characters, right? I think we all have to be a little bit more like that. It's like you got to find the things that that bring you joy, that bring you optimism, that bring you hope, that bring you uh, fun, because. The world we live in is strange, to say the least. I hope that was hopeful. I, I do always try to be hopeful and kind, and uh, but you know, sometimes the cards are just weird, and we're living in the weirdest time. I bet. It's almost gotten weirder. It's almost gotten weirder, honestly. It seemed like we were sort of building again, and it's like I don't think so. I think. You know, we were a little early for the party. So it's like, let's say, okay, let's say, okay, here's a, here's a, here's a good one. The party was Saturday, right? I show up on Friday and there's no one there, but I have this fantastic cake that I brought, or let's say, yeah, I have this fantastic cake that I brought. And, you know, then you call them and they're like, oh no, it's, sa it's Saturday, it's tomorrow. And tomorrow you're going to be out of town or whatever. Eat the cake. <laughs> no one's home. You can't go on Saturday. It's done. It's like, I'm ready. I thought it was, it's like, it wasn't stale. Eat the cake. Eat the cake. Oh, I couldn't eat a whole cake by myself. Well, come to my house because I can help you. Because I could eat a whole cake by myself. That's what I got for you. Finding finding joy amidst the chaos. That's what I'm going to name it. Blessings. <laughs>